Welcome to Connection Kids Online as we continue our series, Fruit of the Spirit. So glad you could join us today. The fruits of the Spirit are something that God grows inside of us when we spend time with Him. Look at all these fruits. There is nothing the same about a cantaloupe and a banana. They are all different. They look different. They are shaped differently. They taste differently. Today we're talking about the fruit of the Spirit, goodness. Goodness is eat, treating others well, no matter what our differences are. This can be difficult sometimes, but the Bible says that God's children should lead the way. Let's check it out together. Hey friends, Greg here. Welcome back to church. Now today we're in my studio working on a brand new video project. It's a project that engages all five senses. It's the world's first ever 5D video project. Now 3D is for rookies, we're moving on. Me and Dan have been doing some cutting edge research and we actually found out that we're gonna be able to do something that no one's ever done before. Now things are about to get crazy in the studio. Something that gets me really pumped up is worship music. So let's jump over to our memory verse song of the week in 2 Timothy 1.7. Let's do it. Wow, these things look real. Nice job, guys. That worship music really pumped me up. Now, today we're gonna to be talking all about the fruits of the Spirit. Not like our actual fruits that we're shooting 5D video of, but the fruits that God give us, like love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, and self-control. Today we're gonna to be talking all about goodness, which is when we treat others well because God is in our hearts. Now, let's jump to our Bible story about Lydia where she shows us all about goodness. Let's check it out. Slapstick Theater, Lydia. This is Lydia, Hello. who worshiped God and was a dealer in purple cloth. One day, Lydia was with a group of women by a river. Oh, hey. Paul and Silas came and started speaking to the women. As she listened to them, God helped her to understand and believe in what they were saying. Oh, wow! She and her whole household were baptized. Lydia asked Paul and Silas to come and stay in her home. Okay. Paul and Silas stayed with Lydia many times as she always opened her home to them. Wow, so Lydia showed goodness by opening up her home to Paul and Silas. 
And Paul and Silas showed goodness too by telling others about Jesus. That was an awesome story. Now, I'm just putting some final touches on my 5D video. All we have left, some orange citrus fruit spray to really enhance the scent. Remember, we're doing all five senses here. So, we're locked in, cameras are recording, and we're gonna start spraying this bad boy up. Now, while we do this, tune into our You Direct Awards, where we had kids from all over the world send in their videos about goodness. Check out the videos right now while we finish ours. Let's go, Dan. Katie, check out this good jacket. Nice, yeah. looking good, Ariel. Ah, thank you, that was good, I like that, yeah, yeah good. <laughs> you know, um, these videos have been really good. Yeah, they have been good. You know what, yeah, this U Direct series, the U Direct Awards has been very good. Mm -hmm. It's making me want to go have a good lunch. Okay, yeah. And then after that, go see a good movie. Ooh, with a good a movie. Good huh? popcorn. popcorn, good popcorn, popcorn. popcorn. I got it. yeah, good. <laughs> You direct the world, Fruit of the Spirit. These are films directed by you. Worldwide premiere. The You Direct Awards. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the You Direct Awards. I'm Katie. And I'm Ariel. We are going to be looking at You Direct videos coming in from young directors all over the world. And like we learned last week, each video will focus on a particular Fruit of the Spirit. And we also learned last week that fruit of the spirit is not food, but things in our life that show we have God's spirit in us. Okay, got it. Let me see if I can remember them. Okay, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. I nailed it, yes! Yes, way to go. That was good, like really good. Did you practice? Yeah, I practiced a little bit. I had to get good because this week we're talking about goodness. Get it? Yeah, I get it. I see what you did there. I think you could have been a little more creative on your transition, but... Okay, goodness is treating <laughs> others well because we have Jesus in our hearts. We can show God's goodness to others by being good. Now let's take a look at this week's goodness finalists. Good. The nominees for goodness are... Violet Victoria from Irvine North. Chloe and Caitlin from Irvine North. And Jared and Anton from Aliso Viejo. Wow, those are some amazing submissions. Now for the fun part. They sure are. Each week we will choose another category winner. On the last week of our competition, after all the category winners are announced, we will crown the U Direct champion. And the U Direct champion will win the grand prize, which is a brand new iPad. Oh, that's so awesome. Before we do, we need to call out Pastor Sean to help us reveal today's winner. Give it up for Pastor Sean. All right, everyone. Today we're talking about goodness. Remember that goodness is treating others well because we have Jesus in our hearts. In our Bible story today, a woman named Lydia showed goodness to Paul and Silas by opening up her home to them. Now, Paul and Silas had to have been exhausted from traveling all over the land preaching the good news. By sharing God's love with others, Paul and Silas showed us what goodness looks like. Now, Lydia wanted to show the goodness of God that God had put in her heart by helping Paul and Silas. And the best part, she just used what God had given her to meet their needs. Now, only God can be good all the time. But when we have Jesus in our hearts, we have all we need to share His goodness with others. Now, we can show this goodness through our thoughts, our words, and our actions. Now, May I have the envelope, please? Oh, it's in there. Yes, dude. When they're getting the envelope, I'm going to get me an in and out burger. Whoa. Whoa. Something's in my burger. Oh, wait. <laughs> that was a good one, guys. Um, it's actually the nomination for. Uh, the goodness category. Guys, it's Chloe and Caitlin from Irvine, North California. Good job, guys. Um, hey, listen, we actually have Chloe and Caitlin here via satellite. Chloe, Caitlin, are you guys there? Hi, Pastor Sean. We're here and we're so excited. Awesome. Guys, do you have anything you want to say? Yes. 
I would like to say some stuff that my mom was such a great actress and she helped us bake the wonderful brownies. My sister and I also got along, so that was awesome. I can't forget to thank SK for giving us the opportunity to do this video and most of all our Lord because he helped us get through it and helped us come this far. Thank you. Well, again, congrats, Chloe and Caitlin. Now, let's check out and watch their award-winning film. Help me? Sure. What are you doing, Claude? I'm playing the best video game ever. Four. Gosh, Caitlin, I can't believe you're giving me the last brownie and I didn't even help you. Julie, really have goodness in you. I have an idea. Why don't we split it? Oh, here you go, Caitlin. You can have the bigger piece. I feel even better showing goodness to you. Girls, leave anything for mommy? brownies look awesome. Now from Chloe and Caitlin's video, we got to see a wonderful example of what goodness looks like. Even though the, the younger sister did not help with making the brownies, the older sister still offered to give her last brownie. But then the younger sister was so touched that she wanted to split the brownie with her sister. Uh, in the end, they ended up showing goodness to each other. Now just like we heard earlier, we can show goodness to others by making choices that are pleasing to God by helping those in need or by being kind to the people around us even when they're not kind to us. Showing goodness to others isn't always the easiest thing to do, but God promises that he will give us the strength to do what is right through the fruit of the Spirit. Now, it's time for me to throw it back to Ariel and Katie. Love you guys and we'll see you back next week. See you later. Well, that concludes this week's episode of the You Direct Awards. Remember, the fruit of the Spirit grows inside of us so that we can show others what God's love looks like. That's right. And this week, we want to challenge you to find ways to show goodness in your thoughts, words, and actions. All right, well, I'm Ariel. And I'm Katie. And we'll see you guys back here next week for another episode of You Direct Awards. Wow, that was awesome. And hey, just like Pastor Sean said, we can show goodness by being good to others. But we can't be good all the time like Jesus was. But because we have him in our hearts, we can be good in our thoughts, our words, and our actions. Well, now it's time to do a little quiz to test our knowledge, see how well we are paying attention. Now, this isn't a boring quiz. This is a crazy quiz held by a snail with super speed, laser vision, and he can talk. It's time for the Super Snail Sam quiz. This is what we're gonna do. You're gonna go ahead and yell out the answers as loud as you can when you have when you hear them. Let's check it out. Gentlemen, imagine a world where the laws of physics no longer apply. Where house snails can have the speed of a cheetah and the strength of a thousand men. The time is now. We have the technology. We have the capability. We can make the world's first super snail. Super Snail Sam! Better than he was before. Better. Faster. Stronger. Laser vision. 
Super Speed, the ability to speak. Super Snail Sam. What does the word goodness mean? Is it telling good jokes? Eating delicious food? Or is it treating others well because we have Jesus in our hearts? That's right! Goodness means to treat others well because we have Jesus in our hearts. Great job, guys. How did Lydia show goodness to Paul and Silas? Was it by singing to them? Washing their feet? Or opening up her home to them? That's correct. Lydia showed goodness to Paul and Silas by opening up her home to them. How can we show God's goodness to others? Is it by being good? By name calling? Or yelling, I love you, at strangers? That's correct. We can show God's goodness to others by being good. Awesome job. Super Snail Sam. God grows the fruits of the Spirit in us as we spend time with Him. So now, let's take some time together to spend with Him in worship.
our Bible story. Lydia, Paul, and Silas each played their own part in showing goodness. There are so many different ways to do this. I'm pretty sure you can tell which one of these is fake. You can't make yourself grow goodness in your heart. The only way true goodness can grow in our hearts is by asking Jesus to change our hearts through the power of his Holy Spirit. James 1.17 talks about how every good and perfect gift comes from God. This includes the gifts of the Spirit. Let's pray together asking God to change our hearts and to help us show goodness this week. Dear Lord Jesus, I thank you for everyone who is joining us today, Lord. And I pray that you'll work in our lives and change our hearts as we spend time with you. And we pray for the gift of goodness, Lord, in our lives. And thank you for your goodness to us. And I pray that you will open our eyes and show us how we can show your goodness to others this week. We love you in Jesus' name, amen. Have a great week.